Uruguay go to the World Cup in Brazil with their talismanic top scorer, Luis Suarez, in stunning form. The Liverpool striker scored a record equal in 31 times in this season's Premier League as his team came second. Uruguay, who won the first ever World Cup, have been drawn in Group D in Brazil alongside 2006 champions Italy, Costa Rica and England. Of course, the English know all about Suarez, having been entertained by the striker all season. And Roy Hodgson has even suggested that after such a successful domestic campaign, he may be tired for the World Cup. It's not something the Uruguay coach Oscar Tabarez agrees with. Suarez in Uruguay, I hope he'll do what he did in the World Cup 2010 in South Africa, his first World Cup, in the American Cup, in the World Cup qualifications. And I hope he will do it with a degree of maturity and the experience he gained in this English season. I hope he could increase more, if possible, his power. I have no doubt about his feeling of belonging and the desire to bring the best. We'll see if Mr Hodgson is right or not. And they're not just a one-man team. With Edison Cavani, Diego Forlan and a trio of title-winning Atletico Madrid players in the squad, Uruguay will be confident they can go far. They shot many, including their coach in 2010, finishing fourth. And Tabarez believes his current side are even better than the team of four years ago. Comparing ourselves, I think we have more power because the experience is something that we lacked in the last World Cup and in the last qualifying for the World Cup. And that was the price we paid for the renovation of players. But now those players have played not only a World Cup, but they have also continued to compete in important leagues, and they're now also four years older. Many of them have approached an age which is considered ideal for footballer performance. And history could work in his side's favour. Uruguay lifted the trophy in 1950, the last time the tournament was in Brazil.